Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Tools and Tips to Owning Your Worth. Letters you're never going to send and um, the medicinal quality of them. That's what we are going to talk about today. We have a lot of thoughts. 90% um, of what we think is repeat. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Um, if you're old enough to remember Cheers, there was a character named Cliff Clavin and he was just full of useless knowledge. And so our brains hold a lot of stuff. And I've been working in my own personal life, actually I've been writing letters as well, but I've been working with some clients and encouraging them to write letters. Write letters to people who've died. Write letters to people who you've had to set a boundary with so you can't see them currently. Write letters to the people in your life that you do see and you're just trying to sort out how you feel about something before you bring it to their attention and talk through it. I had the absolute pleasure last week of meeting um, a young man who has started his own healing journey and chose to write and write and write and just free write and he explained that experience to me and it was so beautiful to watch how profound it was for him and just be a spectator as he shared with me the, the magic and the medicine that was just free writing. And so I, I thought it would be really awesome to share with all of you the tool that is writing. You write alone, you write your thoughts. You, they don't have to make sense. There doesn't have to be an outline. There isn't supposed to be content. Pick up a piece of paper and pen and just go to town. You don't have to have a purpose. If you're feeling, if you're incessantly ruminating on something, if you're lost and you don't know how to get to a, a new place with something that you've really been struggling with, then I'm going to encourage you to write. Write a letter that you will never send. Write a letter to an old version of yourself. Write a letter to a loved one who's died and you feel like you need to connect and you don't know how to do that or you don't know if you believe that you can. Write a letter to a person, a friend, a sibling, a parent who you feel has wronged you. The intention is to write it down. Look it over, read it, reread it. Get to conclusion for you, not for them. We share our feelings, if you remember from the feelings sharing episode, we share our feelings to get them out of us. They may or may not invoke change, but we share them because we need them to move. And the same is true for letter writing. So I hope all of you before the holiday season can embark on some serious medicinal letter writing. I would love to have any comments or questions come through below in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and welcome. I'm hoping that you like the episode and if so, please consider subscribing. To my subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate you very, very much and uh, I hope that you're sharing with all of your friends and family the things that we are learning and talking about. Until next time. Namaste.